What's up guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna learn how to convert text from area type to point type. If you don't know the difference, I'm gonna show you that too. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've just got this little artboard here in Illustrator. I think I told you this tutorial was in Illustrator, but if you got here, you already know that. To add text to our page, I'm gonna click on the type tool. The shortcut key for that is T. I'm gonna click and drag to create a text box. This type of text box is called area type. Area type essentially means that we can scale the text box without scaling the text. So if we go back to that selection tool, notice if you're in CC or updated, it actually already filled in some text for you, some lorem ipsum. I can grab the edge of this text box and scale it, and the text will wrap within that text box. So I cannot scale the text unless I use the scale tool or I change my actual type options to say 40 point instead of 34. Now to switch this text box, this area type text box to a point type text box, which essentially means scalable text, all I have to do is double click on this little handle that sticks out here. It's a blue dot. If I double click on it, now it's an open dot so it's just a blue outline that means it's point type and point type is scalable so if I squish this down my text will squish with it so the text does not wrap within this text box now another way to do it I can go back up to my type drop down and look right in this area I have convert to area type so I can take this text box that is currently point type back to area type just like that does the same thing as double clicking this. But I also have area type options, just so you know, a little FYI, uh, that I can edit within that area type text box. So there's lots of different options. Uh, these are like paragraph options. I also have my paragraph options over here, like whether or not to hyphenate. And also, if we go to the window drop down, I'm just feeding you information now down to, uh, well, we should have type down here, and we have all different types of things, uh, dialog boxes we can pop out, whether it's character, paragraph, glyphs, character styles, all that kind of stuff. So if we were to pop out the paragraph tab, notice how we have extra options, we can even show more options with the hamburger drop-down menu. Okay, I think that's it for this tutorial. If I can click out of this, there we go. That's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm actually curious, in Illustrator, do you like to use area type or point type more often? Vote in the poll, and, uh, and that'll tell me, right? I'll put the poll up in the front of the video so most of you see it, even though I'm telling you now. That's about it. If you guys learned anything in this tutorial, like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>